Cathedral. Yeah. Hey, we must be nearing Kieran Station soon. Kieran Station! Oh, Julian, I don't understand this. Mum's always waiting on the platform. Hey, look, a circus. Oh, never mind that now, Anne. Look, George, your mother might have been delayed. Telephone for you, look. I'll get it. It might be Mum. Opening Thursday. Big Hollow. Hey, we haven't been to a circus for years. Shall we go? Big Hollow's up far. Isn't it that where Tinker and Professor Hayling live? Of course. Everything all right, young Maybe Tinker would like to come with us. I wonder if Tinker's still got his monkey. Mind it all. Hey, John. Stand away. Remember Tinker Haley? Right, John. That was Mr. Rogers, the gardener. We've got to take a taxi home. I wonder what's up. That's it. Leave me with all the luggage as usual. Let me see here. Yes. Oh, Rogers. Sorry to saddle you with everything. Hope you can cope. Just have to manage, I suppose, Professor Kieran. Yes. Still, there's only the dog. How long will he be gone? Well, if they find out it's scarlet fever, my wife and I could be in quarantine for several weeks. Oh, no. Well, very good for you being away on a holiday. You could easily have been a contact yourself. Dad! Stay where you are. Don't come any closer. I'm in quarantine. Nothing to worry about for the moment. But Cook's been taken ill, and until they find out what it is, your mother and I are in isolation. But where is Mum? At the hospital with Cook. Now, Professor Haling's kindly offered to have you stay with him. Rogers is going to drive you to Big Hollow and give you all the gin. Well, bye for now. Oh, by the way, how's your hay fever? All right at the moment, thank you. All right, take care. Bye. Bye, Dad. You keep the change. Look, you'd better sort out what you want to take to Professor Hayley, so I haven't got all that time laying around here. I'll get Timmy. Oh, no. He stays here. Timmy always goes with me. Maybe, but your father's order is where he stays here. So do I. Look, you'd better do what you're told for once, sir. Huh? Timmy's my dog, so I'll do what I like with him. I don't care what you say. George. It won't help by upsetting Mr. Rogers. Anyway, it's not his fault. Hey! I wonder what all that stuff's for. Why ask me? Well, that's the kind of stuff your father works with. Could be one of Professor Haling's inventions. <laughs> Tinker! Mm. Hello, Mischief. Remember me? This is fantastic luck. Not for Mum and Dad. No, you being here, I mean. Especially with Dad being so busy at the moment. Seen that? Yeah, what is it? Another invention. Dad works up there now all the time. Here, got a terrific surprise for you. The suspense is killing me. In that case, you can say hello to Dad first. <coughs> Tinker, have a change to me! Stay with us? All of them? I'm sorry, Jenny, I meant to tell you. But Professor Haling, where will they all sleep? Hmm? In the guest rooms, of course. Where else? Uh, uh, the, uh, the mattresses. They're away being recovered. This is a surprise. I was only trying to help. Oh, not to worry. We'll think of something. Even if they have to camp out. Hey, Dad, can we? We've plenty of gear and it's warm enough. We can camp in the bottom field. I suppose so, if Mr. Tapper and the circus people don't mind. Oh, Dad, I was keeping the circus as a surprise. Well, it's the first time you've managed to keep a secret. Never mind, Tinker. We saw a post up at the station. Bet you didn't know it was in our bottom field, though. <laughs> this is going to be 
a fun holiday after all. Mm. Would be if Timmy was here. Don't worry, I'll get my own back on Rogers. Don't keep on, George. It's not his fault. There he is. That's Sam. He's in charge around here. Sam! Hello! Hello. Hiya. Hi. Hello. Well, I've heard all about you lot. Told him you were coming. No, really? <laughs> <laughs> Anything we can do to help? Well, now. Oh, we don't mind. Anything. My caravan could do with a wash down. Okay, just show us where the buckets and stuff are. We'll see that far in the cap. He'll sort you out. Great. I'll tell you what. You can give me a hand later on tonight to bed the animals down. Oh, good. It'll be changing water buckets mostly. Oh, I don't mind. I love animals. Here. <laughs> Here, he's got me. Get hold of that gorilla. Get it. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> Come here, you. Hey, look! Oh, he get out of it! Get, he's got the pipe of it! Get out of it! <laughs> Don't be quiet, now we go get him! Come on! Oh, I'll get that damn up, Timmy! Sorry about that, Mr. Tupper. Look at me. Beep. Oh, yeah. I've told you before, Sam. Either you keep Charlie locked up or he goes. But, Mr. Tupper, look, teaching Charlie tricks is one thing. I can't run a circus like this. Get on. Look, Sam, you're in charge of the axe. You should set an example. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, oh, well. Uh, I want you to meet Mr. Wu and, uh, um... My assistant. Uh, 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 the assistant, yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Wu is our new memory man. Uh, now, I want Mr. Wu's act to go between the acrobats and yours. Now, see that everyone knows, Sam. And don't you forget what I said about him. Ah, <laughs> uh, get off, girl. Have we met before somewhere? Manchester Piccadilly Station train called 3.30 Tuesday, 22nd of September, 1974. It was raining. Yeah, well, uh, I'm afraid you'll have to excuse us. Come on, Charlie. <laughs> and are you travelling with the circus? I wish we were. Mm, yeah. yeah. I'm Professor Hailing's son. These are friends of mine. Matter of fact, this is our field. Not the Professor Hailing. You've heard of him. Hailing's electronic guidance system, 1969, the SCO wheel, 1958, the mini chip accelerator. So many amazing inventions. He must be a very brilliant man. Matter of fact, he's working on one right now. Oh? Of course, it's secret. Well, of course. <laughs> Excuse us, please. You ought to be more careful talking to strangers about your father's secret work. Hello, Mr. Good boy. All right? Mr. Good boy. Come on, Charlie. You hold on. Come on, Betty Bye. Come on, in you go. Hey, come here. Come on. Here, Did you ever get tired of travelling about all the time, Sam? It's the only life we know, isn't it, eh, Charlie? Then you'd better behave yourself, Charlie. You can say that again. When Mr. Tapper says it's your last chance, he usually means it. <sighs> yes, it is getting late. We better be going. Thanks for your help. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Charlie. Good night. Sleep well. Night, Charlie. Good night, Charlie. Good night. I'm surprised you didn't recall our meeting more precisely. I wouldn't want to steal your thunder, Mr. Wu. Besides, I've got other things on my mind.
Where are you going? To get Timmy. And no splitting. But it's the middle of the night. I know. I'm going to take Tinker's bike from the house. I won't be long. Okay. You're going to get Sam into terrible trouble. Come here, Charlie. Come here. George, are you sure it was Charlie you saw tonight and not a dog or something? I know the difference between a dog and a chimpanzee. It's a pity you didn't get Timmy. <laughs> so that's what you were doing up. Professor Hailing would be furious if he knew. Anyway, it's more important we should find Charlie. Yeah, before Mr. Tapper finds out. You better wake Sam and tell him. Come on. Hi. It's Sam. He's gone. That's odd. What's really odd is how Charlie could have got out. Surely Sam wouldn't have... <gasps> I thought I heard somebody crawling about. What the devil do you think you're doing? Mr. Tapper, um, we... We were looking for mischief. Mischief? Tinker's pet monkey. Sorry, Mr. Tapper. He got out. Did he? Hmm. Well, don't let it happen again. I'm fed up with animals running amok. I won't stand for it. Sorry, Mr. Tapper. Good night. Oh, I thought I heard a commotion. Well, they missed all the fun and games. Now, see what you've done. Everyone's awake now. Look, let everyone get back to their beds and let me get back to mine. Good night, Mr. Tapper. Good night. Oh. What's the change for, Sam? Oh, I don't think I like that. Well, <coughs> what's, what's this, then? There's these running order. You now follow Madeline and her musical horses. Second act. It's a nice spot. Somebody else let Charlie out of his cage. And Charlie, if he came back here, he'd go to Sam. So Sam would put him back in his cage. I can't see what you're getting at. Sam might not even have known Charlie was roaming around. Look, there he is. Let's ask him. Hi, Sam. Hey, I want to have a word with you. Mr. Tupper tells me you kids were up here in the middle of the night. What was going on? But we were coming to have a word with you. Me? About Charlie. What about Charlie? About him getting out last night. But Charlie didn't get out last night. Of course he did. We even saw you putting him back in his cage. We were afraid Mr. Tapper might find out. No, you've got it all wrong. 
Charlie was kicking up a row, I got up to quieten him. It's probably what woke Mr. Tupper. Look, I went to get a bite. No, you look. I mean, I work here. I mean, just because we're mates, it doesn't mean you can start taking liberties. But... No, look, I appreciate your concern. But Mr. Tupper, you know what he's like. He might stop you coming up here at all. Oh, I like that. I suppose he's right now. But Sam was lying about Charlie. Look, this proves it. See, hailing. I saw Charlie steal it from the bicycle shed. So what? Sam isn't going to admit Charlie was out last night, is he? I suppose not. It just seems peculiar. Why was he trying to burn it? Who's well, got the next rehearsal then? Haven't got all day. You're lucky, Mr. Wu. Well, you don't have to practice your act. Uh, not like a juggler or an acrobat, no. Can you memorize anything? Anything I wish to, yes. Well, so can my father. Who's got the next rehearsal? Oh, do look at Charlie. Come on, boys want their tea break. <laughs> there we go then. Come on, sort yourself out. Get your hat on. Come here. Like you, madam, I'm talking to the dog. <laughs> Gosh, oh, you don't Sam. Sam under all that makeup. Money? Money? Oh. Tax collector? Oh. What's is wrong? This is wrong! You've got me down as a money woman! Oh. Come on, Dad's just shit. Just bite him like that. Go on, take the lot. Take it all, go on. Why are you taking all the money? What? There you are. Go on. <laughs> I wish you could do that. Rub your nose in it, see if I care. Go on. You tax collectors are all the same. You all look alike. Go jump up and down. Covered in fur. Get up. Get up. Oh. No wonder Charlie always pinched his papers if Sam trains him to do it. Very clever. Come on, Charlie. Come on, boy. Is that all Charlie's going to do for today? A little at a time is a secret with animals. Overdo it, and they get bored, and they lose interest. Quite impressive. Well, let's hope Mr. Tapper thinks so when he sees a new act. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> now we're a bit more organised. Do you fancy joining me later for a bit of supper? We could barbecue some bangers. Yes. Oh, great. And I can see what I can get from Jenny. Maybe a pie or something. Great. Hey, do you fancy joining us later, Mr. Wu? Then the, uh, the kids could test your memory. Thank you. Right, my turn, Julian. 928,000 multiplied by 56, uh, divided by 7, and multiplied by 9. Mm, 66,816,000. What day was August the 9th, 1965? It was a Thursday. That's right. I know it was because I was born then. Mm -hmm. You must be a genius, Mr. Wu. Just a little elementary magic. I'm sure this boy's father will be just as quick as I am. Dad's too busy with his inventions. Doesn't have time for tricks. I mean, sometimes he's working in his tower all night. Tower? That's where he does all his work. I'd like to meet your father sometime. But you said he was busy with that invention. Oh, he's finished it, actually. He's just doing the paperwork now. Matter of fact, 
this invention is. Ouch! Which way you're putting your feet? Hmm, just notice the time. We promised Jenny we'd be back in bed early tonight, didn't we? Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Of course. We haven't finished yet. You'd better do as you promised. There's always another day. Oh, all right. Thanks good very good much night. for the supper. The sausages were beautiful. Yeah, good night. Yeah, Bye. 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 You really are a fathead, Tinker. Hope I've never let me anyone get me talking about my father's secret work. I was not. You were. Mr. Wu was all ears. Yeah, there's something strange about him. All clever people are strange. Why shouldn't Mr. Wu be interested in my father? They're both mathematicians. You don't know what Mr. Wu might be interested in. I'm sure he's not interested in stupid people who make up stupid mysteries about nothing. Nobody could get at Father's secret papers, even if they wanted to. And I'm fed up with you lot telling me what to do. Tinker, didn't expect to see you. I'm going to see and make sure you shut your door. I don't want mischief running about the house in the night. That wretched little animal. It's not possible. 